Good afternoon. Let's continue with the tutorials of our Python. We have already gone through different lectures or different sessions in which we have understood how we can create a variable of type integer, of type string, of float, what are different operations which can be done on the strings, what are different operations which can be done on integers. Now we'll move a step forward and see two things in Python. One is indentation and second is conditional statement that is if else statement. We have already gone through the logical operators and relational operators. So let's start with if else statement and indentation. As you can see on the screen, like we write, we have created a variable a is equals to 3 and as it is an integer, the type of a would be integer. This we have already studied before also. In the second statement, we have written print a, which will print the value of a. Now this is the syntax. How do we write an if statement? If is written by if and then condition. If the condition is true, it will execute the statements which are written below if and which is within the if block. If the condition is false, it will go to the else block if any else block is present. So this is the condition which we have given that is if a is double equals to 2. This condition checks whether the value of a is double equals to 2. Then a semicolon is put. In C, C++ and other languages we were putting a bracket over here and then curly braces for the body of the if. Over here curly braces are not required. This is how, this is where indentation will come into the picture. This colon is put and as soon as we put a colon, now just to experience it, let me delete it. And as soon as we put a colon and I enter it, you see that the cursor has come to little light right hand side. It is not exactly at the left. Why? So this is indentation. Now whatever statements which will be writing, whatever statements which will be writing at this point, at this right hand side indented indented at this right hand side will be treated as that they are within the if now when we want to come out from the if statement we have to press a backspace like i am pressing on my screen and we have to move towards the left hand side we have to move towards the left hand side this is how we move towards the left hand side and whatever i'll write in this after moving after moving towards the left hand side will be treated as outside if for example i delete this thing to have a clear picture and i write else over here so this is end of if and beginning of else now as soon as i will press and enter this will again be indented towards right so whatever statements i will write in this right hand side it will be treated in this will be treated in within the else and if I press and enter, this will again be indented. This will again be indented. Now, when I move to the left, I press a backspace and I move to the left, the indentation is lost and I move to the left. So now when I'm moving to the left, I'm coming out from the else also. So this is end of if else means this is end of if, if else. I, if I print over here anything over here, suppose I print my name over here and I do it this so this is we are printing it outside if else so let us repeat this thing just focus on the highlighted portion this is the syntax we write an if statement we write if then we give the condition which we want to check if the condition is true it will execute within the if and all the conditions which are there within the if all the statements which are there within the if are written indented towards the right when we wish to end the if statement, we move towards the left. We move the cursor towards the left. Like in this case, we have moved the cursor towards the left. So this is end of if and beginning of else. If we want to write an else, we will give an else like this. And this gives an else statement. This is the beginning of else and this is the end of else. Let's take another example from the very starting. Now say I give an integer value a is equals to 5 then I put an if statement how do we put an if statement we write an if a is 
less than instead of equal to we are reducing a is less than 10 then colon then I press and enter as soon as I press and enter you can see that we are shifting towards the right and I print that a comma is less than 10 and this will be printed okay that the value of a is less than 10 then I press and enter we are again within the if but I want to come outside the if so I'll give a backspace and move towards the left I'm coming outside the if then I write an else it is not mandatory to write an else but if we wish we can give an else statement again colon do not forget to give colon and press and enter we come within the else this time and then over here we write that a that is the value of a is more than 10 okay we are still within the else if we want to come out from this else we'll give a backspace now from here we can proceed with our program whatever program we want to write means we are outside the if and else and we can proceed with the program which is outside the scope of if else when we press a backspace and we reach to the left similarly we can use nested if also nested if else also and else if also this can be these can also be used as they are used in other programming language let's take an example for this also in the same program for example over here i give a value a is equals to 10 and we write if you see everything is left indented if a is greater than 20 clone that print a sorry double quotes because we want to print it more than 20 okay then within this if only i want to use another if so i will keep it indented only i will keep it indented only and i write that if a is less than a is less than 30 greater than 20 but less than 30 and i put a clone i put a clone so you can see this time the cursor has moved towards more right so it is within this if but it is outside the first if so this is a nested if the statement the statement which i am writing over here just print the value of a without any something this this statement is within this if it is within this if and this if is within this if how do we know this because this if is indented with this so this if is within the first if and this statement comes within this if statement now as soon as i will press enter you can see that the cursor is still on the more right i press a backspace so we are end of second if but still we are within the first if i press again a backspace i come outside of the first if also and it is not necessary that we write an else in this case we are not writing any else and we just print end that we are giving an end now let's execute this program using two three different values of a okay first let us execute with the same value which we have given then we will execute with different values of a so as soon as i execute this program as you can see on the right hand side the first statement comes which is of this if that 5 is less than 10 very good it does not goes into the else over here a is equals to 10 so it does not goes in this if and if it does not goes in this if it will not goes in this if and it comes at end now suppose i have put the value of a is equals to 25 okay now i execute the program what happens in the first case it remains the same in second case it says that it goes into this if it is more than 20 great 25 is more than 20 then it goes in this if because this if is within that first if and it checks 25 is less than 30 and over here we are printing the value of a it gives the value of a is 25 then it comes to end in the third case let's take the value of a is 35 and we execute it see now in this case the first statement is executed this again second statement is executed 
and but the third statement because 35 is not less than 30 it will not goes in this if so this is how the nested if works we can also do nested if else nested else if uh, can also be done just remember that in case of python there is no need to write else if only el if is executed means is can be done we can just write el if which is equivalent to else if so this is how else if statements and indentation works in python indentation is a powerful tool in python which removes the need of curly braces and this is how we use them thank you